Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu wa ala Sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. So we welcome everyone uh, online uh, for this uh, start of this new class or new uh, session or talk uh, that we'll be having every Tuesday, inshallah ta'ala, around 7.30. So we've given enough time for everyone to, uh, alhamdulillah, have a meal uh, and to relax and we'll talk. Uh, these talks are, uh, inshallah ta'ala, will be on du'a itself, on uh, making du'a and uh, talking about a specific du'a every week, a specific supplication that uh, inshallah ta'ala all of us know or we've heard before or we're going to try to memorize inshallah ta'ala so that you know week by week we can develop our our uh, the du'as that we uh, that will uh, that we come to know and the ones that we already know if we already know them then we will get a stronger sense of the meanings of them if we do not already know so inshallah we'll try to make it consistent every tuesday and we will inshallah ta'ala uh, help uh, one another in making dua for each others uh, through these duas and also others that 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 you know of and that we know of uh, inshallah the prophet allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the quran uh, he tells us that uh, to call upon him because he's going to answer us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to us, uh, Ad'uni astajublakum, astajublakum. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, call upon me and I will answer you. This is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says, Qod, he says, say to them, say to people, that I am close. When they ask you, إِذَا سَلَكَ عِبَادِي أَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells the Prophet in the Qur'an that when my servants ask you concerning me, say to them, I am close. أُجِيبُ الدَّعَوَ تَدْدَعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ That I will answer the one who calls when he calls, or I answer the caller when he calls. So let him then Call or let and believe in me. So these we know of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to hear us. He wants us to call upon him. He wants us to make dua to him and towards him and to him. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promises that he's going to answer, that he answers the one who calls upon him. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, that's what he wants of his servants the Prophet ﷺ, he says, Addu'a ibadatun, addu'a'u ibadatun, that supplication is du'a itself. Supplication is worship in and of itself. It's worship in itself. And so when we make supplication, what are we engaging in? We're engaging in ibadah, we're engaging in worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and we are going to get blessings from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the performance of, uh, for calling to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, performing uh, supplication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So today we wanted to cover this dua, the dua that Anas ibn Malik radiallahu anhu, uh, Anas radiallahu anhu, that uh, he says that the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told him uh, to say this dua, to make frequent this dua. And after Anas radiallahu anhu heard this dua that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi told him to say, he said to the to the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he says, "O Messenger of Allah, we believe in you. We believe in you, and we believe in everything that was sent to you. We believe in you, and we believe in everything that was sent to you. Do you fear something?" from us? Do you fear something of us? Is there a fear that of us, that, that something's going to happen? And the Prophet Wasallam, he responded, he said that the hearts, of, the hearts of the believers, the hearts are between the fingers of Allah. 
and he turns them whichever way he wants. He turns them whichever way he wants. So the dua that the Prophet wasallam that he told them to say frequently is the dua, Ya muqallib al-qulub, thakbil qalbi ala deenik. O turner of hearts, make firm or affirm my heart on your religion, on your deen. Ya muqallib al-qulub, O turner of heart. Muqallib means that something is turned over. Means something is turned over or something goes from the top to the bottom and from the bottom to the top. So it turns. So the Prophet ﷺ, he says what? Ya muqallib al-qulub, O turner of hearts. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who, who turns heart. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who affects the heart. And we are the ones who we can shift. And we can look at things and see things and be veiled by things and so on and so forth. It can be, you know, we can have veils over our hearts in which we don't see uh, clearly what we should be doing or what we ought to do or the messages that come from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the form of ilham, guidance in, in guiding us and so on and so forth or doors opening up that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opens up for us that sometimes we don't see it. And so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, wants us to, to make dua and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Prophet sallallahu alayhi this is dua because the heart, it, it, the heart can change. The heart can change. So we're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He is the changer of hearts. So thatbit qulubi ala deenik. So affirm or conf- affirm my heart, make my heart thabit. Make my heart stick to what? On the deen. Let it be always conscious of Allah and conscious of what to do. That is, that is necessary or what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded us to do. And so, because what is the heart? The heart of the believer is the place in which belief is. Iman is in the heart. What is also in the heart is the niya, intention. Right? Intention is in the heart. That the Prophet salam, he says what? That your actions in the Ma'alu bin Diyat, that all actions are by intentions. Where is the place of the intention? In the heart. The place of the intention is in the heart. Where is taqwa? Consciousness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. God fearness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Where is it? In the heart. Because the Prophet salam, told us that taqwa hauna. Taqwa hahuna, it's here. And he pointed to his chest. Where are the good traits? The traits of sincerity and honesty, the moral character that makes a believer who they are. Where is all those traits in the heart? They're all in the heart. And so if the heart is pure, then the rest of the body becomes pure. As the Messenger وسلم, says, that either salah had salah jasadukulluhu that if the heart is sound, then everything in the body becomes sound. All the limbs become sound, the actions become sound, and so on. But, however, if the heart is rotten, or the heart is corrupted, then the rest of the body becomes corrupted. Allah heal al-qalb, and the Prophet wasalam, he says that that is the heart. That is the heart. And so by making this dua, by making this dua, Ya muqallib al qulub, O turner of hearts, that bit qalbi ala dinik, make my heart firm or affirm my heart on your deen. So no matter where our heart is swaying towards, either it's swaying towards Allah, swaying towards the dunya, swaying, swaying towards you know, shahwa, our whims and our desires or whatnot, or we may not know what to choose or, or which way to take or the choice to make and so on and so forth. If your heart is firm or affirmed on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if your heart is affirm on the deen, then the choice becomes clearer. That choice becomes clearer. That way or, or what you have to choose or the fight that you have to to abstain from following your whims and desire becomes even uh, easier to do. It's easier to fight that whim 
or that thought or that evil uh, intention or that motivation that you know will be destructive. And so one, if the heart is on the deen, one has the courage to make the right decision, even if, even if it's an unpopular decision, even if it's not going to win you, even if it's not going to win you the, the friends that you may want or the associations that you want and so on and so forth, yet you make those decisions because why? Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has firm and you've asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make your heart firm on his religion. And so if one wants the heart to be firm on the religion, then you will make the choices that you know that will be pleasing to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you know that it will enter you into the realm of which success will come to you because وَمَا تَوْفِيكِ إِلَّا بِاللَّهِ Because obviously we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that there's no success except the success that comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So let's make this dua, let's memorize it. Ya muqallib al-qulub, thatbit qalbi ala deenik. Ya muqallib al-qulub, thatbit qalbi ala deenik. Ya muqallib al-qulub, thatbit qalbi ala deenik. Inshallah ta'ala, what we'll do, we'll send it out on our WhatsApp group uh, for the masjid, inshallah ta'ala. So you'll see the text, you'll see the... Uh, you'll see the, the translation of the meaning of this dua, inshallah ta'ala, and you know, we'll try to make it as much as we can, and inshallah ta'ala, by next Tuesday, we, have, we would have memorized not only the dua in Arabic, but we would have memorized the meaning of it, and we would know something uh, concerning why the dua is important to us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us, forgive us, have mercy upon us, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, safeguard us and our families. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, those who are sick, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help them, cure them, heal them. Those who have passed away, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them his mercy, his makfirah, and his shade. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of our children. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of our elders, our parents. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect our spouses and our family, our relatives, our friends, our brothers and our sisters. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us all. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring an end to this pandemic. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open up the doors of his fadl, of his bounty, and of his mercy and his maqfira to us, inshallah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us and guide us, forgive us and have mercy upon us, inshallah. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala sayyidina Muhammadin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Ameen, ameen, ameen. We'll see you all, inshallah, for these sessions. We'll see you on Tuesdays. Inshallah, just a reminder, we have Salat al-Jum'ah uh, also on a Friday at one, at one between 1.15 and 1.20 we start normally, uh, Inshallah ta'ala. So we look forward to seeing or we look forward to being here again, Inshallah ta'ala with you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.